Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to add a cooldown to your action and add a cooldown bar like this. See? After the person nodon has punched, it has to wait for one second for the cooldown bar to disappear, and then it can punch again. In this tutorial, you will learn how to set up the one punch cooldown and also how to add a cooldown bar, and then we will end it with how to add three punches per three seconds. Okay, let's get start. First of all, let's make this person punch when A is pressed. So we go to button press A, and the output timing is on press. Then we connect this A to the action port, and make sure that the person action is punch. So now our person can punch multiple times, but we want one second cooldown per punch. So we need a counter to store how many punches that the person has left. Here we need a counter. When the program starts, we can start punching. So the starting value should be 1. And because the maximum number of punches per 1 second is only 1, so we change this to be 0 to 1. And when can this person punch? This person can only punch when there is at least one at this counter nodon. So we need to add a comparison. Change this to greater than or equal to. And then we add a constant one. Then we connect all these three. The person nodon will punch when A is pressed and when counter is greater than or equal to one. So here we need another and nodon. Okay, and when this action happens, we have to count down the counter. And now when I press A, the counter value will become 0. And then after that, I can no longer punch. So we have to increase the counter back to 1 in 1 second, right? Here we need another constant input. If we connect 1 to the count up port, the value will increase too fast. Let's see. See, I have pressed A and then, yeah, it just remains 1 there. So we have to decrease this amount. But by how much? Okay, let's take a look at this. This timer output for 1 second. When A is pressed and the timer outputs 1 for 1 second, the counter will be 60. So if we want the counter here to be 1, the value here should be 1 divided by 60. So I change this constant to be 1 divided by 60, which is around 0 0.018. If you want a very accurate input, you will need 3 nodons for this, like 1, and then dy, and then 60. So now let's take a look. When I press A, this becomes 0, and then it will slowly increase. Let's go to the game screen and see it. I can punch, but not immediately right after the previous punch. I have to wait for like 1 second. Let's add a cooldown bar next. We need an invisible box here. This box is the padding between the bar and the person nodon. We go to the properties and then only select movable. The connection point is from Y negative to Y positive because we want the box to be on top of the person. Then we are going to add the extending box. And we resize it to be the size that we want. Let's go to the extending box properties. The connection point should be from Y negative to Y positive because it has to be on top of the person. And then we change the Z to be just 0.1 so that it does not look too thick. The size here is 0.8. Then we need to map this counter to the length of this box. We connect the output of the counter with the map and then we also connect the output of the map to X input of the extending box. Then in the map setting, when the input is 0, the output has to be 0. And when the input is 1, we want to remove the cooldown bar. So here it should be negative 8. And we also have to reverse the direction of the map, so we click this button. Yeah, see this means when the counter is at 1, 
the output range will be negative 0.8, which means no cooldown bar is shown. Okay, let's test it. Yeah, now you can see nothing. But after I have punched, yeah, I can see the cooldown bar. And when the cooldown bar is visible, I cannot punch at all. I can only punch again when the cooldown bar has disappeared. Yeah, so this is for the first use case. Next, what if I want to allow 3 punches per 3 seconds? That can be done easily. I can go to the settings of the counter, then exchange the starting value to be 3. The range is from 0 to 3. And in the map settings, the input range has to be 3 instead. Let's have a look. So now I can have 3 punch consecutively. Yeah. Yeah, and that's it for the cooldown tutorial. Hope this helps. And you can put any tutorial requests in the comments below. Lastly, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye, and see you next time.